I'm Adobe Certified Instructor Jeff Witchell, and this is Adobe Illustrator Quick Tips. Today's tip is for Illustrator, and it's titled, Do Radial Gradients Have to Be Totally Circular? Before CS4, the answer was absolutely. The only way to make a radial gradient less circular was to distort the object that it was filling. I'm just going to hit Command Z, Control Z on a PC to get back to where I was. But finally, in CS4, you have total control of just how circular a radial gradient is. If you look in the gradient panel, there's a brand new field called aspect ratio. And what it's doing is you can change the percentage of the height as compared to the width. So if I type in 50% and then hit return or enter, I'm getting an elliptical radial gradient. Kind of cool. And I can also change the angle of the gradient to something other than zero degrees. And you can see that's really cool as well. But I'm going to get back to exactly where I was before just by typing in zero for degrees and hitting my tab key and hitting 100% and hitting return or enter. But there's also been another gigantic change to gradients. And that's in the gradient tool. If you hit your G key, you'll go right there, and you'll see this strange little widget, or gradient annotator, as some people call it. And if I click on this top node and drag down, I'm changing that aspect ratio. You can see it right here. The aspect ratio has been changed to something less than 100%. I could also make it more than 100% if I want, and I can also change the angle right here. So if I go to 45, I can hit return, and now it's at a different angle and a totally different aspect ratio. But once again, I'm going to go to zero degrees and hit my tab key and go to 100% for the aspect ratio and hit return or enter. Of course, there's other things that you can do with the gradient annotator as well, including getting to all the stops so I can actually double click and get a swatches panel that pops up and I can change the color I can also change the position if I want I can add other stops and change the color of them as well so there's a lot you can do with the new gradient annotator including of course changing the aspect ratio and the angle Kind of cool. That's it till next time, so stay tuned for more Adobe Illustrator Quick Tips.